So this video will present the graph of the first derivative function or f dash x of the normal distribution function f of x. Um, again, this is an opportunity to connect the the pure the pure module with the applied module um, in in a rich fashion. So what we want to recognize is based upon the previous video the result for f dash x. So when we differentiate f of x, the normal distribution function, or the probability density function for the normal distribution function, we get minus into x minus mu over sigma times f of x. Now, we could set this to zero in order to confirm to us the x-coordinate of the turning point. When we set that to zero, we know that um, f dash x equals zero implies that if we look at this as a factor, either minus x minus mu over sigma is equal to zero or f of x is equal to zero. Now, f of x is an exponential function um, which is asymptotic to the horizontal axis. So there is no x value for which f of x is equal to zero. There's no real x value for which f of x is equal to zero. Uh, but here, we can rearrange for x by multiplying by negative um, sigma. And that means that x minus mu is equal to zero. x is equal to mu. So this confirms that mu is indeed the x-coordinate of the turning point for the, the normal distribution function. So if mu is the x-coordinate, if we were to graph the f dash x against x at the point where mu, that would be f dash x, would be um, zero. At the points where we have mu minus theta and mu plus theta, those would be turning points for us. So what we would expect is the, is the following, um, that the, the, the gradient is positive and increasing um, up to this point, but, and then positive and decreasing, and then negative and decreasing, and then negative and increasing. Um, so here, if we were to graph it, it would be, uh, positive and increasing, then at the inflection point, the gradient will be um, zero, so it will be flat. And then here at the turning point, f dash x is zero. And then here, the gradient now becomes negative and decreasing and then here negative but increasing all right so our function should look something the plot of the gradient function should look something like that 